What's up guys, in this video we're gonna be going over this super sick visualizer collage effect. Thought it looked super cool, it's actually not so difficult to do, so just stick around with me until the end and you'll learn all of this songs. Also we just hit 7,000 subscribers, so thank you so much. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to do so, we're on our way to 10k. Also I just want to let you know that my website where you can get all of my really fire editing packs is gonna be under maintenance. I'm gonna make a new website, so it should be up by tomorrow. All right, so today is just gonna be straight sauce. Make sure to stick around because we're gonna recreate this together. It's actually not so difficult to do. I took this from like a autumn video. Let's get right into this. All right, so this is the clip that we should have in the beginning. As you can see, it's just a camera like panning to uh, the subject's face. So what we're gonna do is on the last frame, make sure you go to the last frame. We're gonna duplicate our layer doing Command D and then we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to time and now we're gonna freeze the frame. So that's what's gonna allow us to have that kind of like face frozen effect. As you can see, when we go like this, it is frozen. So now we're just gonna drag it after. So now we should have this, boom, bam. So once that's done, now we're gonna mask the subject's face. So that's not too complicated. Sometimes I do it with the roto brush tool that is right here. But for one frame, when I do collage effects, I like it when it's not perfect. So I'm just going to select G uh, to grab the pen tool. Now we're just going to mask around his face just like that. It doesn't have to be super precise. Like I said, we're going for this kind of like organic uh, collage style. So there we go. That's pretty much it. We have this mask right here. So now we're gonna have this. So now that is not really a cool effect if we're being honest for now, but I think I'm just gonna adjust it. You can adjust it. There we go, just like that. Now the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add a background uh, under the subject's face. I went with an orange background. Let's see what we're gonna add. All right, so we're gonna do command Y. So that's gonna create a new solid. Let's just call it BG for background and we're gonna go to color and we're gonna go with a nice orange. I'm feeling orange today. A orange like this, that's gonna work. We're gonna press okay. Now it appears and we're gonna drag it under all of these layers right here. Make sure to cut it right here at doing command shift D. We can erase that part. Now we're gonna have this. So still not what we want, but now we have our background right here. What could help is we're gonna add a vignette. So you gotta go to the effects and presets. Sometimes it's over there, but yeah, if you don't see it, it's gonna be right here if you don't have it. So now it adds a bit of atmosphere, if that makes sense. And then to the layer, we're gonna add a drop shadow, which is gonna help with that kind of like collage style that we want. Let's double click. Now, as you can see, we're gonna have this. We're gonna increase the distance a bit. Now, with these kind of effects, what I like is not adding too much softness. It really depends. Like right now, ah, I never know. Like sometimes I just wanna do like zero softness because it kind of adds like that a pretty cool look. Damn, I'm so conflicted. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with softness again. I don't know, it just looks the best in my opinion. So right now we kept it at the exact same place, but I think what we're gonna do, I'm talking about the face, we're just gonna put it in the beginning. Uh, we're just gonna put it in the middle. Now it's gonna be like this. Boom. So for now, it doesn't make sense. We're gonna add a slight transition to help with that. So let's do command Y. Then we're gonna go and make it like white. That way we're just gonna add a flash. We can call this flash. And now we're gonna make it one frame long. That is the easiest way to add a transition, guys. When you don't know like what to do or when you get into like a kind of like stylized effect, just add a white solid, like a white flash. And then it just gonna go boom. At least, you know what I mean? It's not. So I think I'm gonna duplicate it, command D, and then I'm gonna do one frame where it's there. You know what I mean? So. I think that looks pretty nice. All right, we're cooking up right now, guys. This is looking pretty cool and I'm really excited because we didn't animate anything yet. So now we're gonna get, we're gonna add some stuff to it. We're gonna start animating it. Let's go. Yo, I'm so happy to be recording tutorials again. I don't know, it feels like, cause right now I'm working on some really fire packs for you guys. Some, yeah, sometimes I take like a little break, but I'm really happy to 
be doing this right now. So we're gonna duplicate the face, just do command B, and then we're gonna make three of those. And I just wanna, it's always really important to label your layers, guys. You don't wanna be that guy that has a bunch of stuff going on. I say that, but this isn't named, this is just a tutorial. So you can either do this to solo it, like show only the layer. Me, I have it like set to option S. So that one, I know it's the main one, like main middle, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna put it on top of everything. These ones, all right, so this is the one right and then left. And then that one is before. That's gonna help us kind of like manage around. So I think right, I'm gonna make it smaller. 125 should do it, the left as well. We're gonna try to put it somewhat at the same place. There we go, now we're gonna have this. So now this is set, but still not animated. So now we're gonna animate the heads. So I'm just gonna change the anchor point for the main middle one. Let's put it right there in the middle. Uh, we're gonna animate the rotation uh, axis. So you see the rotation right here. We're gonna create an expression. Now don't be scared, it's not so bad, it's not crying. We're gonna do alt click, and then we're gonna type posterize time eight. So that means that whatever is animated is only gonna move eight frames per second in that style that we're trying to do. That's very. Then we're gonna do semicolon. We're gonna uh, press on enter, and then we're gonna type wiggle. We're gonna make it wiggle. Let's do 24 frames because anyways it's gonna be like limited by eight frames per second. So who cares? And then we're gonna do five. Yeah, five. That should work. What does that look like? So as you can see, you kind of get that. Okay, so that wasn't too traumatizing, right? I feel like this one could be like more... Yeah. And then the ones under it could be a, like less shaky. So I'm just gonna paste those to the right. But now this one says like 15. We're gonna make it like eight. I'll shoot. Yeah, eight. And we're gonna copy this one and then with command C, R to go to rotation. I'll click once again, command V, bam. So now it's super nice. It's even better than the previous I did last time. Yeah, I think it looks super cool. So this is what we have so far. I decided that we're gonna do this effect right here, like a stroke and then a drop shadow. How I did that is, let me just do command C for now. We're just gonna get rid of the drop shadows on all of those. And instead we're gonna add a stroke first in the uh, layer style. So let's do stroke and then let's go in the stroke properties and then we're gonna make the color white then let's increase the size to 12 that looks pretty cool and then we're gonna add a drop shadow as well the layer styles drop shadow bam you go in the properties you increase the distance and then everyone's happy so now we're just gonna add the layer styles to the other ones we, we're just going to copy those and paste those so let's do command c and then right boom left boom there we go now what's next for us is we're going to add this kind of like pop art uh halftone effect the effect that i'm going to use is sapphire halftone and fortunately there isn't an effect like that with default plugins it actually requires the safari suite i try to do everything with the default plugins but this one is a must to know uh, or at least the dot frequency you basically want to increase that like look at this come on bro like that looks insane that looks so clean you can either put it to white or black in that case i feel like like the dots it's better with that uh so we're gonna paste it onto the other ones as well now we're gonna have this yeah that looks clean that looks really cool. Now I would say what's really missing is some kind of like texture. Let's say like the halftone texture. We want to add a bit of like paper, mixed media texture to it. And we're going to animate it as well. I'm going to show you how to do that from scratch as well. Saw season. Let's get it. So I went and I got a uh, texture from Texture Labs. It's a website where you get a bunch of uh, texture. I love, uh, I love that website. It is so useful. So I'm just gonna put it under right here. So as you can see, we have this, um, but now it isn't animated. So what we're gonna do to do that, we're gonna go into position. So press P, then we're gonna do alt click. 
Now it's kind of like the same principle we did, right? What we're gonna do is just we have an extra extra set basically. So oh I hate that we can like barely see what's going on. Sorry. Oh my god. Now we see a bit more. So we're gonna do out click. And then we're gonna do post arrest time eight, just like we did last time. Semicolon enter wiggle 24. But now instead of doing something like eight, you really want it to seem like the paper is like shaking and it's like a mixed media effect. So you gotta you really gotta make it uh, move a lot. So we're gonna do three thousand. With that said, now it is normal if it does that. It's not, this, this is not what we want. That is because like we don't have enough pixels, like it's not big enough. With that said, we can go to effects and presets and apply the effect CC rep at top. Yeah, so you basically, it's super useful when it comes to like just expanding the borders. Every time I try to like animate those kind of like mixed media effects, this is a must, CC rep at top. You basically want to expand those to 6,000. Then we can do repeat, maybe blend the borders a bit. Just gonna cut this off but now you're gonna have this look at this damn that looks super cool right but it's like so gray so we don't want it to be gray those that's exactly why we're gonna change the blending mode right here so now it's at normal we can play with those i don't remember what i did i think i did soft light ooh, ooh, ooh that is so fire so now as you can see we get an actual like really cool effect now one last step we're gonna add a text a super nice uh text and that is gonna slide down it's gonna look super nice i'm showing you how to do that from scratch as well we're gonna create that text we're gonna do brand new text layer doing command t we're gonna type autumn that's the artist's name in that case maybe i could do like collage collage and then once again the repetile effect is going to come clutch make sure the timing is at repeat however we only want it to be up and down we don't want those right here so expand right and left we're going to make it zero um we're going to make go into position and then at the end we're just going to drag this down a little i'm not going to keep it above everything i'm going to drag it down maybe somewhere like this so now it's going to be like this however i don't i want it to move like eight frames per second so i added pulsarized time and i'm going to make the frame rate eight so now let's look at our final result So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing. I drop bangers 